That fiery debate between Vice President Joe Biden and Congressman Paul Ryan. We now know that 51 million of us watched. So who won? And what does it mean for the presidential race? With just 25 days to go before Americans go to the polls, your voice, your vote. And our team is standing by, including the moderator of the debate, our own Martha Raddatz. But we begin with ABC's Jonathan Carl right now. John. Diane, it was an even harder fought than the presidential debate, but today both men quickly hit the campaign trail trying to take advantage of whatever momentum they can. Fresh off the big debate, Joe Biden rallied supporters in La Crosse, Wisconsin, Paul Ryan's home state. I'm sure you observed last night we had a little bit of a debate. Uh, Ryan, out for a family breakfast in Kentucky, seemed pleased too. I feel great. It was a debate that sets the stage for the campaign's final month, laying out big differences on the central issues, like whether tax rates can be lowered without adding to the deficit. Not mathematically possible. It, it is mathematically possible. It's been done before. It's precisely what we're proposing. <laughs> it has never been done before. It's been done a couple of times. Actually. It has never been Jack done Kennedy before. lowered tax rates, increased growth. Ronald oh, Reagan. Oh, now you're Jack Kennedy. Ronald Biden Reagan. went right at Ryan over Mitt Romney's controversial comments, Republican. calling the 47 uh, percent of Americans who don't pay government. income taxes irresponsible. The idea, if you heard that that uh, little soliloquy on 47 percent, you think he just made a mistake, then I got a bridge to sell you. I think the vice president very well knows that sometimes the words don't come out of your mouth the right way. <laughs> but I always say what I mean. When Biden wasn't talking, he seemed oddly amused. By our count, <laughs> smiling or breaking out in laughter 92 separate times. Expressive, often interrupting, and occasionally personal. This is a bunch of stuff. Look, here's the deal. What does that mean, a bunch of stuff? Well, it means it's simply inaccurate. It's Irish. <laughs> it's Irish. It is. <laughs> we Irish call it malarkey. Thanks for the translation. Yeah. Oh, okay. And Ryan needled Biden over the president's performance in last week's debate. I know you're under a lot of duress to make up for lost ground. <laughs> But I think people will be better served if we don't keep interrupting each other. ABC's Martha Raddatz asked pointed questions of both, pinning down Biden on the administration shifting accounts of the attack that killed the U.S. ambassador to Libya. Why were people talking about protests when people in the consulate first saw armed men attacking with guns? There were no protesters. Because Why that's did that exactly go on for what weeks? what we were told by, by the intelligence who? community. The intelligence community told us that. As they learn more facts about exactly what happened, they changed their assessment. Ryan made it clear it's an issue the Romney campaign will hit hard in the campaign's final weeks. And that is what we are watching on our TV screens is the unraveling of the Obama foreign policy, which is making the world more, more chaotic and us less safe. Overall, Ryan and Biden were really at their best last night. Ryan showing, Biden showing his passion, Ryan showing his seriousness. And one big reason for that, Diane, is that we had a debate moderator who was able to bring out what these candidates are really about. So if you don't mind, a little point of privilege, I'd like to say kudos to my friend Martha Raddatz.